How's it going? My name is James, and in today's video, we're gonna be taking a fairly comprehensive look at one of today's most popular VPN services, and that's CyberGhost. We'll be covering choosing a paid subscription, downloading and installing the VPN on your desktop or mobile device, and finally, reviewing CyberGhost and giving you our thoughts and impressions of the service as a whole. As usual, I hope you find this video useful. CyberGhost is yet another VPN in this day and age that draws comparisons to many of the top services such as Express, Nord, and IPVanish. Based in Bucharest, Romania, the VPN as of late features a whopping 5,904 VPN servers located in 90 countries, and more so than any of the other top VPN servers, places an emphasis on streaming and getting around various restrictions. So for starters, let's begin by talking about the VPN's pricing structure. Taking cues from the very popular NordVPN, CyberGhost offers four subscription plans. Their monthly plan goes for $12.95 a month. Their annual plan will run you about $71.40 a year. Their two-year plan will cost $87.60, billed every two years. And much like Nord, their final and most value-oriented plan is a three-year subscription, billed at about $108 USD every three years. This roughly equates to $3 a month and 77% savings on the VPN. The one, two, and three-year plans all give you a generous 45 day money back guarantee, while the monthly service gives you 14 days. Overall, CyberGhost's pricing remains pretty competitive with many of the top tier VPNs out there while still remaining fairly cheap and inexpensive. For the purpose of guiding you through the subscription and sign up process, I'm just gonna go ahead and choose a monthly subscription here. CyberGhost offers three payment options in PayPal, BitPay, as well as credit card. Once you complete your payment, you will then be taken to a confirmation screen during which the CyberGhost installer should actually automatically start downloading. To note, CyberGhost is available on Windows, Mac, iPhone, Android, and also has support for Linux, as well as Chrome and Firefox extensions. At this point, you'll also be able to follow the link on the screen to set your account password, which I highly recommend doing. So on either desktop or mobile, installation should be fairly brief and straightforward. On mobile, you'll hop on either App or Google Play Store to acquire the application. Upon finishing installation, you will be asked to log in using the the password and username you created in the previous step. The app itself is fairly easy to get around. Like most VPNs, it features a neat connect button and servers list on the home screen. The yellow button on the left hand side will allow you to access all the features CyberGhost has under the hood. One of the more unique features of CyberGhost are the categorized servers list specifically optimized for torrenting and streaming. Some VPNs or servers out there aren't the most torrent friendly or they do have difficulty getting around restricted networks. CyberGhost on the other hand, attempts to fix this with a hand-picked list of the best servers well suited for either torrenting or streaming. If you head into the connection features tab, you'll be able to access a trove of CyberGhost's extra security features. The top three features here are block ads, malicious websites, and online tracking. These are all useful measures against each respective threat. These buttons pretty much function like singular versions of Nord's CyberSec suite, or even private internet access's MACE. So honestly, for the safest browser experience, I recommend you just flip them all on. They're all really useful. Another unique function of CyberGhost is data compression. As described, it's used to keep data costs under control by compressing images to reduce internet usage. I imagine something like this would be more useful when you're abroad traveling. Maybe for instance, you're renting a pocket Wi-Fi or hotspot. This would definitely be useful in ensuring you don't burn through all your data in that case. Switching gears and looking at the mobile app, the iPhone app in specific has the same easy to use home screen app with a connect button and access to server and setting option. Tapping on the best location gets you to CyberGhost's many servers, including the most optimized for streaming. The settings menu, on the other hand, is fairly stripped down compared to the desktop version, and it mainly revolves around auto protection functionality whilst you're connecting to Wi-Fi. So moving along to security and privacy, CyberGhost claims they have a no logs policy and attempts to back their claims up with support documents that clarify their approach to no logging. However, with companies like Nord and Viper VPN going the extra mile to hire third-party audits just to verify their no-log policy, the reality of the situation is there's no real way to tell for sure if CyberGhost
symbiosis really is no logs as they claim. As for security tests, in most cases, the top VPNs will usually ace any DNS, WebRTC, and IP leak tests we throw at them. With CyberGhost, however, it did so in an unorthodox fashion. Whilst attempting to connect to Egypt, for instance, a test was ran on IPLeak.net, and on the DNS leak portion, as you can see here, we were given a Netherlands IP address, a hosting DNS address in the UK, as well as multiple US servers popping up in between. These US servers in this particular scenario were located in Chicago and are presumably owned by CyberGhosts. It's as though CyberGhosts method of safeguarding your DNS address is by leaking a bunch of fakes, which isn't necessarily a bad thing if it does protect your own address. All in all though, there were no instances during the testing where my actual public IP address leaked. So overall, CyberGhost does get the pass. However, it still helps to be mindful of how this VPN is going about protecting your privacy and your DNS. So last but certainly not least, let's talk about speed. As usual, I like to sample four servers within the US and four servers worldwide. For this round of testing, we use Seattle, Las Vegas, Chicago, and New York for stateside testing and Argentina, France, Japan, and Egypt for worldwide testing. My benchmark loss off the VPN in this case was 11 ping, 71.69 down, and 12.82 upload speed. Starting with servers in the US, between Seattle, Vegas, Chicago, New York, we averaged 63 ping, 46.95 down, and 9.64 upload speeds. That is a 140% ping difference, a 30.5% decrease in download speed, and a 24.8% decrease in upload speeds. So at this point, we've definitely seen much faster connections stateside, at least in the top VPNs, but also on more budget-friendly VPNs, such as private internet access. Worldwide, our combined test for Argentina, France, Japan, and Egypt yielded 160 ping, 30.93 down, and 6.35 upload speeds. That is a 174% difference in ping, a 56.86% decrease in download speeds, as well as a 50.47% decrease in upload speed. So all in all, CyberGhost isn't a monster in the speed category like some of its competition, but then again, it doesn't really claim to be. And as always, these tests are just samples of the potential worldwide speeds you could get whilst connected to CyberGhost. However, with over 5,900 servers, there's a likelihood that you'll experience better or even worse speeds than we did during our testing. So to wrap things up, what are our impressions of CyberGhost? Well, since we did just talk about speed, I feel like I'd be remiss if I didn't mention it here. CyberGhost is definitely not the fastest VPN, and if speed and the utmost security are more of your concern, then it's undoubtedly better to spend a little more for the similarly priced NordVPN and get amazingly fast and consistent speeds stateside and worldwide. With that said, I'd still say CyberGhost is a decent VPN, possibly even a great one, if you find its particular feature set useful. For all the torrent or streaming junkies out there who would take full advantage of CyberGhost's optimized stream and torrent servers, this one is definitely up your alley, and you'll find these features incredibly useful in addition to CyberGhost's solid application, an extra layer of security with the connection features, great long-term subscription prices. So with that said, I hope you found this review useful, and if you enjoyed it, it'd be greatly appreciated if you could drop the video a thumbs up. Let us know in the comment section down below what other VPNs you'd like us to take a closer look at next, and as always, if you haven't already done so, make sure to subscribe. Again, I'm James, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.